Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I have got such a funny story to tell you. So, Justin and I went and visited some friends a little while ago. Um, they're lovely people, Christian people, very firm in their faith, um, and just wonderfully accepting of, of everyone and everything. And they're just, they're just really good people. Um, I personally think they follow the Bible the way it should be. They follow Christian teachings the way it should be followed. There's no hate. There's only acceptance and love. Um, but anyway, so we visit them and we had a, we had a bit of a chow, we had like some brown meat and we had a bit of whatever. And we leave and we come home. And the next day I open the fridge and I find this. This thing. Okay. So I said to Justin, where did you get the jelly shots from? Right. I said the jelly shots. Those, those little, you know, the little shot glass thing was the jelly shots. They're jelly shots. He says, Matthew, that's not jelly shots, it's the sacrament. I was like, what? What, what is what? He said, I'm going to show you how amazing is this. I'm just mind blown. That is the sacrificial, sac sacrificial, sacramental wine. Sacramento wine. Okay, there we are, Sacramento. This is the, the, the wine, and there's the little wafer. Look there. There it is. There's the wafer. So you have the wine. And the wafer. This is communion in a tub. It's so cool. I thought it was a jelly shot because now we have five of these things, which our Christian friend gave to Justin because Justin's into like all religions. Okay. I did not know this, but during COVID, when people could not get to do communion, because communion is a huge part of Christianity and Christian um, service, as I'm sure many of you know, they because they couldn't come to church, people couldn't come to church, and um, you couldn't just go around to everybody and have them drink out of the cup at their door. The, the, um, the church started putting together little things like this. Where you've got the wafer and you've got the the wine it's actually it's actually not wine it's fruit juice i don't know any i don't think they use wine anymore anyway this is a little bit of grape juice and they would give you these they would come around and they would they would hand these out to you and you could either do it on your own or you could tune in on on a sunday morning to hear the the priest online and then you could you had your little jelly shot okay um god's jelly shot which i think is a it's just really cool if, if when I think about God, I think of, about a man, like the Christian God, I think about a man who is just so cool and just so, so like with it. And so, so I think God has got a really good sense of humor. And I think, I don't think he would be offended if I call this a jelly shot. This is a, God's jelly shot. I just think it's lovely. It's just so cool. And um, I then found out that this has actually been going on for ages. This is not a new thing. Um, apparently, when people they, when people are ill, um, or they're in a hospice, or they call they're elderly, they they frail, they can't get to church. The priest would will go around, or perhaps not the actual priest, a group of people from the church will go around and actually do communion in these people's homes for them, in the in the hospitals for them. That's a thing, and they would take something, perhaps not exactly like this, because this is a really well-packaged little thing, but they would take this sort of thing and they would just drive around and they would go to wherever and they would let these people take the sacrament. And I just thought, what a clever idea. Um, I don't know any other religion that does this. Do you know anybody else who does this? I, know, I do know that, um, that prayers are said often for when, when big prayers are happening, the uh, pundits and the, the gurus and that will go around to a lot of Indian homes and they will um, they will do their, their prayers there, obviously not with the sacrament. Um, I know when I stayed in an Indian area in Avoka, my beautiful house, um, I often saw the, the um, oh God, what am I going to call it? It's like the portable temple. It was a little truck with the deities on it and it would come past and would be playing loud sort of Indian bhajans, which are prayer songs, and if you could not get to temple, you could just pop out of your house, they would, they would park in an area um, for 10 minutes, you could go from your house, you could just pop out to the little mobile um, 
temple, say your prayers, give your offering if you want to, and then go back inside. If, you're, if you were ill or you were too frail to go to temple, you're just bloody lazy to go to temple. Um, I've seen that happen. But I don't know any other religion that does this, you know. And I just, I just, I just love this. I just love the idea of this. I think it's so cool. And I think it's so, it's so nice because it's so inclusive. Just because you are sick and you can't get to church, why should you be denied the, the, the sacrament? You know, just because you are, are elderly and infirm, just because you are, I don't know, you know, paraplegic and you can't get there, whatever, just whatever. I just think this is such a cool idea that you can also be included in the, 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 the ritual, the, you know, there's a ritual, uh, the ritual of taking the sacrament. And I just think that so many, um, so many other religions can perhaps benefit from this and maybe look at that and look at being more inclusive um, of their own congregation, be it Wiccans, be it Hindus, be it Jehovah's Witnesses. I find a lot of the time, a lot of, a lot of the time, um, religions or belief systems can be rather exclusive in so so many ways, you know, and let's, I'm not talking about, oh, the gays can't come in here and, you know, uh, the Jews can't come into a church or whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about little things like this. Little things like if you are a blind person, can't you, or if you're a deaf person, um, can't you perhaps, I don't know, can't they accommodate you in a, in a, in a way that suits your disability? Um, and I say being blind or being deaf is not actually a disability, but you know what I mean. Please don't take offense at that. Um, I feel that the Christians that are doing this, the, the Christian faith that's doing that's going on with this thing, I think it's such a clever idea. Whoever came up with this should be sort of given the Nobel Prize, <laughs> you know, because this is just such a cool idea. And honestly, I think other other uh, religions could could look at their the way they do things and perhaps become a lot more inclusive by using this God's jelly shot as an example because I just think it's it's like the coolest thing. So I just I had to come on here and share this with you. I had to show you God's jelly jelly shot. And this is the last one because Justin is saving them. Um yeah so there we go. He does take this and he enjoys it. He says reads a little bit in his in his Bible um, and he'll take this and it's interesting, I mean, this is my last thing, quickly, because we're running out of time, my last thing, but it just goes to show that taking the sacrament, you don't have to be a Christian to do this. If you are an open-minded and a person that respects and enjoys all religions, there's nothing stopping you from taking the sacrament. You know, it's, it's just a really cool way to reconnect with God, as in the big God, the big G. All right. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you this because it's so cute. Um, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I will see you on the flip side.